your Bibles this morning. I'll do it like Adam used to. Give me a Bible. I want a Bible. He's sure I'll pick on him. I love my buddy. But he's got a mean little son back there. He's mean but he's been sitting on the pew next to Rita. (laughs) It's a rubbing off. Gonna have to move that youngin. Look at her. She knows it. She, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's just like molasses. You stick your hand in the boiling pot and you get the foam on you. (laughs) <laughs> if you'd come to the front you'll get it Jeremiah Jeremiah she had the right point the right comment get on with it alright Jeremiah chapter 6 Jeremiah had uh, some a comment to say. He had a comment uh, that I think kind of fit the situation in the day and time that we are living in. And I checked the Bibles, and I don't believe I'd ever preached on this. I'd read over it. I'd wanted to, I'd made notes on it, but it's talking about the old path. The old path. And I'd read about it, and I'd talked uh, about it, and spoke, and I'd used it. But when they, a lot, I've heard a lot of preachers preach on uh, going to the old path, but simply, I just want to talk about the old path. And Jeremiah here, and when you, when you begin to look at the old path, and Jeremiah, when he brought it up, uh, the enemies had, were sent against Judah. They had, they had sent against, uh, uh, Judah, and, uh, the thing about it was, they were in, encouraged themselves, and God directs the siege, and everything, and, and, and Jeremiah, he was preaching the Word of God and he went out there and he was telling them, boys, you need to turn this thing around. You need to uh, see what's going on and you need to look around you and see the people and see the, the people and the way they're living. And he begins to proclaim the judgments of God. And the judgments of God, they were coming. And I want to begin reading this morning and uh, verse uh, uh, number 14. And I want to rather just a little bit of a lengthy reading. But as he began to read here, I mean, uh, write down, and he began to tell them, they needed to be healed or they needed to yield themselves to the Word of God. And if you're able to stand this morning in reverence to the Word of God, uh, uh, we'll start reading in verse number 14 this morning and look at this and we'll read down through about verse number 25. And the Bible says here, And they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they were, when they had committed abomination? Nay, 
they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall at that t- at the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also I set a watchman over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore hear ye nations, and know, congre- O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, even they n- have not hearkened unto the words, nor to my law have re- but rejected it. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from the, now listen to this, and from the Sheba, the, the sweet cane from the far country. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifice is sweet unto me. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them, and the neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and I, the, and a nation shall be raised from the sides of the north, from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on a bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses set in array as men of war against O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof our hands wax feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us, and pain as a woman in travail. Go, now listen to the last verse. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way. For the sword of the enemy and the fear on every side. Fear is on every side. Heavenly Father and Almighty God, help us, Lord, to see, Lord, the Word of God. Help us see. Lord, what you have written here, as Jeremiah has wrote, Lord, as the last days are approaching, and God help us understand the word of God, and we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. All right, did you you get what God said here? Israel is Zion, Israel, Jerusalem is God's timepiece. The city to the north, directly to the north, the city is Syria. Out of Syria will come the Antichrist. He will come down and he will siege, bring siege upon the city of Jerusalem. Now, this, and you'll find this in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 14, 15, and 16. 
and it is very plain and very, it's just as plain as the nose on your face. Here is uh, Jeremiah. He is telling them the very, very same thing. Look what he said. Thus saith the Lord, and now in verse number 22. Now look what Jeremiah is saying. He said, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from a north country, the north country due north from Jerusalem is Syria. All right, and it says, A great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. All right, and they shall lay hold on bow and spear. And they are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses. Read the book of Revelation. We studied that. They're going to come, and they're going to ride the horses. They're going to bring. They're going to bring power. They're going to bring bloody power upon the city of Jerusalem. And it says, And they shall lay hold on bow and spear, and that is cruel mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea. And they ride horses, and they set in array as men for war against thee. Listen, O daughter of Zion. Think about it. They're coming in. All right, the last two verses. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Why? Why are our hands waxing feeble, folks? We have denied the Word of God. We have left the old paths. We have left the Word of God. We have pulled down the curtains on God. We have left Him. We have walked away from the Word of God. We've walked away from the wisdom of God. And the Bible says, And we have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish hath taken us, uh, taken hold on us in pain uh, as a woman in travail. Uh, he said, Go now, go forth uh, into the field. Uh, don't not, go not forth, go not forth. Don't go away from the word of God. Uh, don't go out there. Uh, he said, your life is going, it's not worth giving your life for. Uh, you better get ready to meet God. Uh, boy, the day is coming. Uh, he better get back to the old paths. Uh, and he said, it's, uh, go not forth into the field, uh, nor walk, uh, by the way, uh, for the sword of the enemy uh, and fear uh, is on every side. Uh, brother, there's coming a day uh, when you're going to wish to God uh, that you had walked in the old path. Uh, and the thing about it is uh, Christianity uh, has modernized. Uh, brother, she has got... Uh, modernized uh, she has got uh, she has got so modernized uh, brother that nobody ever knows God anymore uh, everybody uh, has got everything uh, uh, fixed up uh, brother they don't need God they don't need the church uh, everybody go well I can serve God just as good at home uh, as I can at church uh, that's the biggest lie that the devil ever hatched out of hell uh, brother uh, I want to tell you right now uh, that Christ died for the church uh, brother uh, he said I love the church uh, and gave his life 
for it. Uh, Brother what I'm saying to you this morning, uh, uh, Christianity has modernized uh, so that the emphasis uh, is on other things. Uh, and the key word uh, is describing uh, a Christianity. Uh, it's not describing a church. Uh, it's not describing believing. Uh, it's describing the world. Uh, it's describing uh, having a big time. Uh, having fun. Uh, go out and do your thing. Uh, brother, I want to tell you right now, I, I want to do my thing in the house of God. Uh, brother, I want to be where God's at. Uh, but brother, what? Uh, it's easier to go to Walmart uh, than to go to church. Uh, brother, you can park outside, uh, go in there, uh, and you can't even walk bumper to bumper, uh, elbow to elbow. Uh, you go to church uh, and you got room all over the house. Uh, well, I want to tell you right now, uh, when you go get to heaven, uh, you're going to have plenty of room. Uh, brother, uh, straight is the gate and there is the way. Uh, and few there be that find it. Uh, but brother, I want to tell you, uh, them that's washed in the blood of the Lamb of God, uh, brother, they're going to find it. Uh, they're going to find it. Uh, why? Because uh, the Holy Spirit of God uh, has called them uh, to walk in the old path. Uh, and brother, when you find that old path, uh, the Word of God says, walk therein. Uh, and brother, I'll tell you, uh, I love walking in that old path. Uh, brother, but not only that, uh, the feast room uh, is more important uh, than the prayer room uh, in this world. Uh, brother, you can go to, to any restaurant right now. Uh, they're waiting on 11 o'clock uh, uh, or 10 o'clock for the restaurant to open. Uh, they're waiting, uh, brother, uh, for the uh, restaurant to come. Uh, and brother, uh, just crack the door. Uh, but brother, I want to tell you, uh, the prayer room is empty. Uh, brother, there are not many uh, that's on their face uh, crying out to God. Uh, to save them uh, or God to answer prayer uh, or God to save their youngins. Uh, brother, I want to tell you right now, uh, I want every one of my kids uh, and I want all of my family, uh, brother, to go to heaven with me uh, and I want all of you to go to glory with me. Uh, brother, we're going to have a time we get over there. Glory to God. Brother, you talk about a feast room. Huh? Woo, I'm going to have a feast when I get there. It didn't cost me a thing. Didn't cost me nothing. You know, politics are more important than prayer. You know, you think about it. Brother Jake was talking about say he didn't want to get into politics. But you know, I was watching last night. New York City was packed. And they're inviting all the people to come up there and join in the march. And there are hundreds of thousands up there. Brother, I wouldn't be in that bunch. Brother, you couldn't pay me to walk in that crowd. Brother, I don't want to. Brother, i tell you what, I'd rather be with God's crowd at the house of God. Brother, that's where I want to be. I want to be where God's at. Brother, I don't want to be up there in that filthy bunch. Brother, listen. You say, well, we're up there trying to get our point across. Let me tell you where I want to be. Let me tell you exactly where I want to be. I want to be in the Word of God where it says, uh, and then, now look, look, if you will, in Second Chronicles in 7.14. Look what it says. Now you can quote it, but I, and I can quote part of it, but I'll tell you what, I want to read it and get it all. It says, if my people... 
Now, God threw the ball in your lap. If you're one of God's people, now you can get something done. Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Now, I want to ask you something. And then the Word of God says, and seek my face. But I tell you what, let me go out here in this graveyard and nobody go out there but me. And let me put a $50 bill out there. I'll borrow it from Rita. Okay, I'll go out there and put a $50 bill somewhere out there in that graveyard. And I'm going to say the one that finds it can have it. And then they can pay her back. Okay, but the thing about it, seriously, the one that finds that $50 bill, now what have they got to do? They got to seek that $50 bill. They got to, they got to hunt it. They got to seek after it. Now you're going to really seek to find that thing. How hard? Now listen. It says, if my, which, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Now boy, if we'd seek God's face like we'd seek that $50 bill, we'd have church. Boy, we'd have church. See, we want worldly things, but we, do we want the supernatural things? Do we want the Holy Ghost things? Do we really want God's face in our life? And he said, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. If you're seeking God's face, your mind would be on that $50 bill. See, you couldn't, you couldn't keep your mind on his face. Boy, I'll tell you what, this week, this week I had to, boy, I got down and I really was. I had my, I was seeking God's face. I was seeking God's will. Boy, I thought I was going to die. I was having another heart attack. And I knowed I was dying. And oh, the breath was leaving me. And I, you talk about calling out on God. God, your will. I didn't ask God to spare my life. God, your will be done. God, you want me to go, then God, just take me. But God, please, I ask God, that go, God, make it easy. But God, it hurts so bad. Oh, God, it hurts so bad. But God, please make it easy. But God, let me see your face. Oh, God, let me see your face. I just wanted to see Him. Everything that was in me, I wanted to see Him. And my wife cried and said, Oh God, don't leave me. And I said, Oh God, just let me see you. But you will take care of her. But God, I just want you. I just need you. God, you're all I need. Brother, I'll tell you right now, God's all we need. God is everything you need. God, you know, you don't need this world and you don't need the things of this world. Uh, 
Brother, you're not going to take nothing out of this world because you brought nothing in. Brother, the old paths. Brother, the Word of God. The power of the Holy Spirit. Jean looked down beside of me and she said, Dean, you said God was going to take you out of the pulpit. I told Michael a minute ago, you may have to finish this message today. God might take me out today. Brother, I'll tell you right now, I didn't think I could stand up here today. And brother, but I want to tell you, brother, the thing about it, there is a God in heaven. There's a God and He's alive. And brother, we're going out of here and we're leaving here one of these days and we're going out if you're truly born again. Brother, it's the blood. It's the blood or nothing. Brother, you can take, but you can't give life. You can take life, but you can't give it. Now, brother, the thing about it is, God said, you're not walking in the old paths. But they said, if my people, they will seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Oh, dear God. Mount Carmel, we need a healing. Oh, we need a healing in our land. We need a healing. We need, we need some work done. We need some work done in our land. We need some work done in our church. We need some work done in our homes. And brother, if we want to see a turnaround, it's going to have to be done one family, one person at a time. All right? The old paths of heaven and hell. Listen to this. Deliverance from for the sinner. Oh, how to get there. How do you get there? It's repentance. Repentance, brother. Sister, I'll tell you right now, it comes through repentance right up here. It comes through repentance and it comes through faith. Redemption by the blood and real salvation. I mean real redemption. And it's real belief. Not here, but here. Brother, it's not a head knowledge, it's a heart knowledge. It's not a play thing, it's a real thing. It's not something that you play with. God's not a play toy. God's not a play toy. What what did he say over here? We have heard the fame thereof and our hands wax feeble. Yeah, we've heard about it. We've heard about it and our hands are feeble. Feeble. Why? Syria is coming. The Antichrist is coming. But I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going. I'm going to take a trip on that old gospel ship. Boy, I'm going sailing through the air. Boy, I'm going out of here, Donna. I'm going out of here. And I'm going to hang on that pigtail, boy, I'll tell you, and your head going to be backwards. You will be looking up. I guarantee you that's one time you'll look up. Brother number two, dedication to a Savior. If you're going to walk that old path, you're going to be dedicated to this church and dedicated to God. You know, church ain't a problem if you're saved. It ain't a problem. It ain't a problem. Boy, I get up in the morning. Oh, I'll tell you right now, I know where I'm going. On Sunday morning. Oh, amen, Sister Donna. Amen, darling. Yes, we know where we're going. And I look forward to it. I look forward to it on Saturday. 
Oh, I went in there yesterday, and I'll tell you, I was, I was just burnt. And i tell you, and uh, I, I got, Jane come in there, and she got, started talking about this, talking about that. I said, Mom, if you don't care, just go in there and sit down. She said, oh, I was really you kind of grouchy. I'll go sit down. And she went in there, and she sat down. And the thing about it was, when I'm, I, I got a one track mind, and there are two railroad tracks, but I just run on one of them. All right, don't you say nothing, Rita. All right. I was, I'm, you know, the dedication to a Savior. Christ is worth save, serving, you know. You know, He's worth uh, serving. And not only that, the cross, the cross is worth sharing. I like sharing that cross. I love, I love to share it. I love to share that cross. I love to tell somebody. I told a person about it. I got told off too. And the thing about it was that's, that's totally and strictly all right. Cause is worth saving. The cause of Christ is worth saving. And you know what? how it's saved? It's saved in my soul. And uh, I'm, uh, I was in there and uh, after all this had happened, uh, I just got in the shower. I was already in the shower. And, uh, boys, I, I, was, I was down in the shower. I was, I was down. I finally got to where I could get to my feet. And I just raised up, turned that shower on cold water. And I looked up, and I turned it on cold water. And, Robert, you know what I've done? I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. Oh, I started singing that. And then I started praying again. And I said, God, I won't have to wade through Jordan. I won't have to wade through old chilly Jordan. David, I won't have to wade through that chilly Jordan. Oh, no. This old body, it may lay out here in the ground and rot and the worms eat it and all of this stuff. But read it. I'm, I'm going home. I'm, I'm all I can do is wading through deep waters, trying to get home. Oh, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. Katie, I'm just trying to get there. Every service, I'm just trying to reach up and get there. I'm just trying to reach up and get a hold of this one more bar. Just one more round on God's ladder. Well, if I just get a hold of one more round, I'll get home, go in, I'll make it. I'm climbing up that ladder. And the thing about it is, a couple more things and I'm through. You know the direction for the saints. In Psalm, in Psalm 61 and 2, part of that Psalm, the latter part of it, Psalm 61 and 2, it said, Lead me to that rock that is higher than I. 
I just want God to lead me to that rock that I can stand above them waters. I can stand above them waters the right path for our walk is above them waters. The right path, you got to stay on it and the right person for our worship. we got to follow the right person and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. The right power will take us a home if we follow the right weapon. That weapon is right here in front of us. It's the sword of the Spirit. It's the power of God. Last but certainly not least, if you get us a song, please, or we, you know, you think about this, it takes determination. It takes determination for our sinners to make it home. Determination. Determination is the main thing. And the thing about it is to work it takes work and it takes work in his vineyard. It takes boy, I mean we gotta work in God's vineyard. He is the vine and we're the branches. We we, we got to work. And not only that, we're to worship. We're to worship. And give God the glory. Boy, I thought he was going to get out of the banks in Sunday school. Boy, I thought, thought he was going to get out of the banks this morning. Boy, and y'all just kind of turned the switch off. But the thing about it is, the witness of his victory, and we need to watch. Watch for his visit. He's coming. What if he come today and walk down that aisle? What if he come today and walk right down that aisle? You've got to stay in the right path. Let's stand. Let's stand, folks. And the thing about it is, he is coming back. As she plays softly. There's an old path. There's an old path. God said, seek out the old path. And when you find it, walk therein. Heavenly Father, and the Almighty God, oh dear God, touch that precious heart this morning. God, dear I'm not saying there's anyone lost that's here today. But I am saying this morning, Father, that someone might be walking far from the shore. Lord, as you said and you was telling through Jeremiah there, you said, Jeremiah, they got spears, they got arrows. They're wicked. And they're coming down after him. Lord, the devil is, he is a, a shrewd operator. He's wicked, Lord, and he'll come and destroy the home. Lord, there's homes and children that are having problems. Maybe in school, maybe, Lord, problems in other ways. Today, Father, you can help them. Maybe someone is trying to get them on drugs, alcohol, illicit sex. Lord, so many things out there. Maybe they're lost and they need to be saved. God, I don't know. But Lord, there's an old path. The old path called the way of salvation. Lord, I pray God that you'd help them come to this altar. 
And O oh Lord God, help them, Lord God, to help them, Jesus. Lord, you know what that home needs. Lord, you know what that family needs. Lord, would you help them come? Would you give them strength? Lord, would you help my wife today? Lord, would you touch her body? Lord, I know you made her body, and God, I know you can heal it. Oh, God, give us strength to do your will. Lord, that's all I'm asking. Your will be done. Not another day, not another hour, but God, your will. God, that's all I'm asking for. Thy will be done. Oh, precious God, bless this place of worship. Oh, Lord, is there another? Is there another? Is there one here today that would just simply, Lord, say, Preacher, pray for me. While you're up there, would you pray for me, Preacher? Preacher, would you pray for me? I'm not coming, but God, would you ask God to help me? Would you ask God to bless my home? There's some things that just ain't right. Would you ask God to help me while heads are bowed and eyes are closed? No one looking, just me and God. Be honest now, be honest. Anyone, anywhere, you feel a need? Preacher, I'm just going to pray right here at my seat. And I want you to pray up there. Heavenly Father, and Almighty God, as I bow before you and before these people, God, these folks that have come, some have come and went back to their seat. Others, Lord, are still here. I place myself here, Father. I place myself upon the altar of God. Lord, I need to return to the old pies as well. Lord, there's so much that I could do. So many things, Lord, that I've walked away from that I, I should have done. But Lord, God help me. Lord, I need to be stronger. I need to reach further. I need to go further. Lord, I pray, dear God, that you would help us. Oh, God, sometimes we're weak and Sometimes, Lord, we just use it as a crutch. Oh, God, I pray. God, that you would help us, Lord, to reach out and to go just a little farther. Walk just a little farther in the Word of God. Oh, God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, forever blessing. Lord, I don't know why you spared us, but God, you did. And Lord, help us just to do your will. To be that, Lord, that soul crying in the wilderness, Lord, that someone might see us that we might preach the word of God right on and on and on till you call us home. God, help us do your will and help us, Lord, God, to do that till you come back. God, I pray again for my wife. I pray, dear God, for strength in her body. Lord, lift her up, sit her up. Help her, Lord, to walk God in the path that you set before us, hand in hand, arm in arm, 
and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.